And now, The Greg Gorey Show, underwritten by iHeartMedia and Woody Show Productions. Here's your host, Greg Gorey. And ghoulish greetings, and welcome to a scary edition of The Greg Gorey Show, Ooh. Halloween 2019. Now, as I do every year, I start with a full disclaimer that Halloween is indeed my least favorite of holidays. I do prefer occasions reserved for fine dining, sans a theme of blood-covered gauze and caskets, and I prefer not to be interrupted incessantly by the cacophony of a doorbell requiring me to set aside my Jarlsberg and toast points just so I can hand out to Bove and Galley truffles to freeloading neighborhood toddlers. Decorations, they're meant to dazzle the eye like, you know, wreaths that accentuate your double doorway or twinkling lights that might envelop a majestic birch. I do not prefer black velvet and artificial cobwebs. I mean, who thinks that looks good? If I wanted to see that mess, I would make an unannounced visit to Bort's sad little apartment, which looks like a a mixture of the monsters and Toys R Us. I mean, (laughs) let's try, let's try to be adult about the decor. You too, Bort. Okay. Yes. I'm quite aware that many stay at home moms stock up at something that's called the, the Dollar General. But a hefty wallet and a good imagination, they can do wonders at Restoration Hardware. Even a novice host can find some chenille throws at Neiman Marcus. And they have a wide variety of colors, so I'm sure you can find one in charcoal gray or or pumpkin. Something spooky that you would certainly never use again. And here's a pro tip for any occasion. It's simple. Candles. Nothing could be easier to set the mood. I recently dropped in on Bloomingdale's, picked up some gorgeous Joe Malone London Pomegranate Noir luxury candles. I could not believe my eyes. Only $420. You could buy a bunch, (laughs) give them out to friends and family as a Halloween treat. Rip? Yes, rip indeed, Ravy. 420, Ravy. Ask yourself a simple question. Would you rather bask in the glow of a Joe Malone candle to feel the spirit of the season or grab a Milky Way out of a plastic jannel, jack-o'-lantern. I mean, that's that's as tacky as a communist bookstore. I see the phone lines are twinkling like an Asteria white diamond. Hello. Welcome to the Greg Gorey Show. Happy Halloween, Mr. Gorey. Great show. Very fine. Very riveting. <laughs> Question for you. This year I've been tasked with providing supper for some colleagues, and I'm torn between an elegant leg of lamb or exotic and unexpected wild boar. Any suggestions? Oh, okay. I see what just happened here. This is some sort of prank call, a Halloween trick. The answer is neither. Why? You all agree. Both examples reek of Christmas. Of course not. Not Halloween. This is October. Your acquaintances are going to laugh at you if you serve if you serve a leg of lamb on Halloween. Yeah, Instead, you can do something I yeah. saw on uh, social media. Somebody has a candy corn pizza. Mm-hmm. Like that's the way to go. Yeah. That is not the way to go. Canned chili, right? Not not the way to go. No, the way to go is to (laughs) stick to something that's, Menace would agree, quintessentially autumnal. Absolutely, Greg. Wine marinated pod roast, maybe a cider braised chicken, a beef tenderloin with mushrooms, maybe a a black forest cherry cake for dessert. You serve anything else and your guests are going to be wondering why they're seeing pumpkins all over the place and not stockings hung over the chimney Uh. with care. Let's be better. Okay. Luckily, we do have time for one more call. Hello, you are on The Greg Gorey Show. Hello, Mr. Gorey. My question pertains to trick-or-treaters. Would you recommend the Godiva 24-piece gift box or the Assorted Gourmet Chocolate Gift Box by Maggie Louise Confections? I'll take your answer off the air. What are you, Mrs. Doubtfire? Yeah. Hello. Hello, dear. Hello. Hello, dear. That Hello. Mrs. Doubtfire was really good. That was good. Yeah. Well, both of those are fine choices, <laughs> caller. However, may I suggest chocolates with edible gold leaf by Delafi? Because not only are they scrumptious. Sounds affordable, too. They're pleasing to the eye. And affordable. Mm-hmm. And you will not find those at this so-called Dollar General. Well, the only thing scarier than a cheap rubber mask hanging on some fishing wire and then calling it a decoration is when we run out of time for The Greg Gorey Show. So join us next time. We'll be discussing backsplashes and sconces. Until then, happy Halloween. I'm Greg Gorey. Yeah.